All right, guys, here we are at part four. We just cleared the suburbs at the end of part three of the last stand aftermath. And here we are in the next area. There's a few things in the area that we can get to. Uh, we are out of fuel. That's the big thing that we need to take care of. Uh, we have a good amount of materials on us. Uh, our knuckle dusters could use a little bit of help. They're down to one durability. So those are about to break. Uh, but otherwise, from there, we're doing pretty well. We end up finding a sports shot rifle that is very similar to the M16 that we found as well. The difference being is the M16 uh, is, you know, full auto. So its DPS is a little bit higher than the sports shot, but I prefer the sports shot because it's saving on ammo with single fire. It's just a preference when it comes to ammo management. That's what I do. Uh, in games like this. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in to part four of this uh, of this uh, video series that I've been creating. Hope you guys have been continuing to enjoy what we put together so far. I've been having a blast playing this game. With that said, leave a like on the video so that way YouTube will put the video in front of more eyeballs here on uh, on the platform for us and help our channel grow. Help our community keep on growing. I really appreciate all the love and support around the channel so far, guys. With that said, let's get to it here. We got some things to do. We got some things to do. My knuckle dusters are about to break, unfortunately. So I'm not so concerned about that, but I do need this gas right here. This should be enough, he says. Let me see if I can uh, not use my ammo for a little while, for as long as we can. This is going to give us two. As I would like to... We spent a lot of ammo at the end of the last area, so... Not trying to uh, go overboard here. That guy had a, a shovel or like a hook or something there. Not sure what that was. Let's see. I need to use this bandage. Okay, a rag. All right, there's a workbench here and then something else. This area so far seems to be a little more open than previous areas. Oh God, what the hell? Oh, I got to reload. This guy's leaping around. Apparently is very good at dodging. Ow, ow, ow. I don't like this guy. Are we really going to die this early? Whoa! Okay, that's like a, a whole new level of what the heck is even that? <clears throat> it's like impossible to hit that guy. Okay, we got him. <clears throat> Holy. Oh boy, that's not gonna work.
Oh my god. Just, just die, man. Oh, wait, we can execute maybe? Nope, nope, no execute. Oh, there's another one of these. Oh, I am, I am depressed right now. Okay, we got that guy. We got him. This other guy, though, is really uh, frustrating me. I don't have stamina right now. Okay, he's dead. Oh my god. Let's just use a med kit, I guess. I suddenly have no stamina, too. In the midst of all of this, just suddenly no stamina. And I have nothing to gain stamina back either. So we need to spend some time here and try to find some uh, some food. Just go away, man. That was uh, a very spicy moment. Holy, I can't believe I'm alive. Put that on. What are we using this? This is a nine millimeter. Do we have any 45 rounds? We should. Yeah, we got 178. There we go. We still have, we still have a gun. At this point, I'm not really expecting to uh, live too much longer. So I'm just trying to run around and get some stuff. Maybe try to find some food, get some stamina back, and just see what we can do in this life. Because right now, it's looking a little shaky. Forty percent melee resistance, 25% melee attack speed, and deal 10% damage to, damage to undamaged enemies. Yep. Fresh blood's always good. I can't believe how hard it is to find, uh... Food it is. Right now. There's no luck there. I'm gonna pop this antiviral. Wait, is that is that for healing? Yeah, it's for health. That's for health. Also, we're over encumbered. That's not helping my situation any. Now let's drop the Torin. And then I don't even know what to drop from here. None of the miscellaneous stuff weighs anything. We, we definitely need to uh, spend some of our knowledge on maybe trying to increase our weight capacity. It is rough out there. 
that's not going to make a difference for us I guess I just I don't have, have much choice I just need to dispose of the uh, 762 it's just so heavy carrying ammo for a gun that you're not actually uh, in possession of looks like there's not going to be any food here I can't actually sprint at all This is a tough one. Another battery. A crit. All right, I guess we just go. This guy's going to beat up my car on my way out. Are right, we going to the log cabin or the gas station? I'm going to go to the gas station and hope so we can find some food in the area. I figure somewhere that's got a few more stores or something could have some food. I just, like stamina is my big worry right now. That's what's holding me back from continuing on this character. Radio static. It's Trinity. What have you got? It looks like a military base. Probably Herc. This is a good opportunity. We don't have any information about what happened out there. Get inside and see what you can find. What am I looking for? They kept records of logistics, troop movements, lots of shit. It might give us some idea of what's out there. Okay, I'm on it. Intelligence. Oh, here's one of these guys. Alright, so uh, stealthing around is going to be a little more important, a little more of value. This whole thing is barbed wired off. I don't know if I can actually get in this way at all. It's not looking likely. And that jumper guy back there, man, he's uh he's right at the entrance. I can roll, but it automatically hurts my max stamina. That's crazy bad. And I can't roll anymore. My stamina just will not recover. There it goes. Okay. We got him with a rifle, but we're very low on ammo now. With 5.56. Five, very, very low. Another antiviral, maybe? Yeah. Let's take that. Our other one still has about 50% of its time left. Well, I can't go that way. No, we're almost level 10 as well, so we're making good progression overall. I just think this uh, this specific survivor is pretty much doomed at this point. Without being able to find food, I mean, we're just in ma major trouble. Oh, of course I dropped the 762 last area. That's unlucky. At least we got more 556, I guess. Oh, man. The timing on that is just stellar. <laughs> That's a little bit frustrating, guys. There's an AK-47 sitting in there. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm over encumbered if I don't have stamina to begin with. This might make some noise. <laughs> it's 
took a boomer there. May as well just kind of go gun happy here from here on out. We're not long for this world. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Uh, hello? That's not at all what I wanted to do there. Why wasn't my gun out? I forgot when you switch to these other items to put your gun away. That's my mistake. That's on me. Are you stuck, buddy? Hello? There you go. Uh, let's see. This will go here. No way. <laughs> no way. Uh, that's an unfortunate way to go. I thought that we were out of range of that, but I guess it bounced back. I didn't throw it over the wall. It looked like it showed green. It looked like it was going to land in the middle of the zombie, so I just tossed it. Instead, it came back to me. Okay, this has a Mac 10, a board, and some water. Mr. Grayson Moore. Over here, we have Miss Shannon Jones, who has a revolver, a can of food, and some painkillers. And then Tyler Har Harlander, who has a makeshift handgun, a knife, and a med kit. Let's go with the MAC-10 here. Take a look at this. He uses 9mm. 60 damage per round. DPS is insanely good. Now, it's unfortunate we went out that way, but that's the way she goes. All right, Supply Depot. We have 235. We have the Torin here. And then MP5 drops with only 15 left here. Interesting. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get the Warhammer recipe. Let's get that. And then someone in the comment section said that there was a radio that we could use here somewhere. Is this it? Oh, yeah, it is right here. Pass on knowledge. Okay, we need to worry about weight. Weight capacity, if that's an option somewhere. Fuel conservation's cool. Bolt cutter upgrade as well. That'll be So we can actually get into the areas with the, uh, the, the chains and the codes are there. Let me see if weight capacity is around anywhere. That's going to be my my big thing. It's not looking like it. Door kicking. I thought it would have been in line with the stamina stuff, but I guess not. I guess the weight capacity limit isn't anywhere in here. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, that said, let's get bolt cutters and then the codes, I guess. Oh my God. I looked right over it, guys. All right, well, we know it costs 39. We're going to save up 39 so we can get that right there. I looked right over it. I'm an idiot. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. All right, let's just let's just go. Oh, my God. I 
I didn't think it would be there, so I just kind of kept looking around. Looked right over it. Oh, well. All right, so I believe if we find enough gas, we can just kind of drive right on through here. So let's see if we can find some fuel. Die. Okay, uh... We are from, like, a fist-fighting champion to a guy that can't kill anything with a board. What the heck? Right, that's, that's good stamina regen stuff right there. About half full. Two gas cans in there. There you go. Another one about half full. Might be able to fill up the car right away here. One more gas can in here, but I think it's in there with a bunch of the zombos. Yeah. I know it's on the other side of the building, actually. Okay. And we're going to take a bunch of stuff in general just to have things in our pockets. There's a battery sitting in there. That's awesome. Got some water and stuff. I wonder if we get to a point where we can actually make ammo. If we can end up making ammo, that'd be pretty big. Let's make some bandages. There we go. Then we can go around the back. Not much left, but it's going to fill up the car just fine. That's what matters in this moment. All right, what else do we have here? Looks like we have a basement and some supplies. We have a battery, so we can use this. Wrench, wrench, gear, scrap. Yeah, we'll just take the plus 100 supplies on that. We actually got the codes, so we can get right in here. Yeah, the flashlight definitely attracts their attention. No doubt about that. There you go. Very nice. We better find some cool stuff in here, otherwise we'll be very disappointed. Is that a radio, maybe? Uh, apparently that guy's not dead. Alright, should be dead now. There's a couple things down here that take batteries, and I just don't have batteries. Some 9 mil rounds is good. 45. This is the world's most disappointing uh, bunker that requires codes to enter that I've ever seen in my life. 
I think that's what the last lootable thing would be. Unless this is it? No. So this was heavily disappointing. I guess we leave. We found absolutely nothing of use in there aside from like some bandages. We got the supplies already. We'll just punch out, you know, Martha the zombie over here. And then we leave. Okay, how do we just skip on all the way up here? That's the thing we can do, yeah? I thought it was. Maybe I misunderstood it. Oh, let's see. We can go to neighborhood or neighborhood. What do you guys think? Colonial Drive or South 7th Street? Got a gas station up here and a store up there on Princess Ave. Let's go to... Let's, let's make our way towards the gas station. Hey, do me a favor, guys. If you've made it this far in the video, leave a like on it so that way YouTube will help us out by pushing it in front of more eyeballs. I really appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out with us. Okay. Let's see. We got a gold bag of supplies and a bunch of other question marks here. Let's go get this. I've not seen one of these in a minute that's not been, like, behind a locked door somewhere. Uh, we'll take those and that. Don't want the shotgun shells. First aid guide. What is it that we needed? We needed uh, 39 to increase our backpack capacity, I think it was. All right, 30 supply gained. Nice. Gas station and a or, um, gas station. Gas and a fire inside here. Oh, gas is over there. We don't need the fire for anything right now, so we don't need to go over there. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's we'll take these. Full tank again. Oh, they're eating. It's lunchtime over there. What do we have back here besides Mary? I'm starting to name all the zombies. I'm starting to get lonely out here, so I'm just trying to, you know, personify everything a little bit here. Oh, God. Stop it. <laughs> that is one good thing the MAC-10 can do, is it can really pull us, pull us out of a pinch very easily. All right, that was everything, huh? Need a battery for that. We don't have much tra knowledge to transmit anyway. Oh, it looks like lunch break is over. Yeah, dude, just go ahead and just punch them all once. Uh, well, I don't know what that was. It's like auto-targeting in the weirdest way. Also, it's really bad. There's a big guy there, too, so... Unfortunate. Hunting rifle, huh? Seven six two rounds? We'll take that. Yes, sir. Yeah, hit it hit it with a crit, dude. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. This little horde of zombies is not going to let me leave. Not without punching my car a bunch anyway. So we're going to lead them all the way over here. Loot some stuff while we're out here. Ooh, an ambulance. Some bandages. All right, now we should be able to just go back to the car and bail. 
Not going to find much else of use here. We carry on. On to Princess Av we go. All right, so we got supplies. Looks like it's uh, right here. Oh, what the heck? They really started me off with a boomer this time, huh? I don't have any batteries. Ooh, okay. We're powering up. 50% aimed damage and then replaces your dodge roll with a charge and then 50% melee damage with less movement speed. Okay, tunnel vision it is. We already have an insanely high DPS gun. Let's keep the good times rolling. Need to find a whole bunch of 9 mil rounds too. Let's equip this. It's only got five rounds to it, but it, uh, it should hit pretty hard. I was going to attract a bunch of zombies. Let's do it. Oh my god. Did it actually pause everything? It did. Alright, flare gun. A UMP? Or we can get 125. Alright, this guy's gonna take one for the team. As much as I want this UMP and these 45 rounds, uh, 45 caliber rounds, there's only 40 of them. We're gonna take this 125. This is pretty, uh, pretty large amount. The shotgun with 32 rounds here is pretty good too, but we're just going to take the 125 because that's going to help us get the MP5 drops. It goes a long way to get good starting gear. There we go. Stop it. There we go. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get some of our stamina back. Very good. You want some? Why are these my uh, chosen items here? There we go. That's a little better. That guy's over there having a one-man rave. It was worth it to take the supplies there because we can get some, you know... Uh, when we get better starting gear, like the Mac 10 we have here, uh, the better off we can go and do more things in the future. Sucks in the short term, but the long term, I think it's the better choice. As much as I want that UMP. Or wanted. These guys heard me. Let's see if there's anything else we can loot in here.
Just some bandages. About in here. There might be ammo in here that I kind of want. Looks like it's a bit of a gun store. Yep, gun shop. Now, if that's the case, we got to get in here and check everything out. We don't need shotgun shells unless I find a shotgun in the gun store, which I doubt. Then we'll go around because I, I found a few different drops of them here. And then we'll pick it up, but otherwise it's not worth it. What's this? Okay, there it is. There it is. We need shotgun shells then. Let's deliver this bag. Put that over that for now. Oh. I really have six rounds currently. Alright, where else did I see shotgun shells? It was in this area, right? It might have been in the last area. No, oh, there's some. I knew I saw more. Two for one dealio. There's a handgun on the floor. 45 tactical, huh? Ooh, what's this? A hunting rifle. We've already got one of those. Dodge and reload your weapon, 15% extra dodge stamina cost, 25% XP gain, and 25% melee. Let's go with XP gain. Some scrap. 9 mil rounds. More 9 mil. The handgun right here, too. Another 45 tactical. We don't need it. 45 caliber. We're definitely over encumbered, so I have to make some choices on stuff here. Police manual, rifle scope, 45 caliber rounds, a backpack with nothing in it. Flare gun, flare cartridges, we don't need. Observation notes, 45 tack, quick draw magazine for assault rifle. That's looking like everything in this building. All right. So let's see. We definitely have more ammo for the hunting rifle than the shotgun, so I think we're going to bail on the shotgun here. 45 tactical, I think, is a good thing to keep because we just found a whole bunch of 45 caliber. In fact, let's trade that out with the MAC-10 for now to preserve 9mm as we find it. Um, I'm going to try to hold on to 7.62. Obviously, we need it for the hunting rifle. Shotgun shells can go. I don't know what it would be that we could use the infected blood sample for. I feel like that's just going to poison me or something. I'm just going to get toss it for now because I know how to find them pretty easily. Oh, reload, dummy. You can find the uh, blood samples from the zombies specifically that glow purple. Like we just found one right here. When they glow purple, they can drop the blood samples. They're a pretty common drop on them. So if we ever do need any, we know where to get them. And then let's use a bandage.
Get rid of all that. It's just bad water. All right, let's bail. All right, we got the neighborhood and the safe house. What's his safe house? All right, see some gas over here. That'll help keep us going and transmit knowledge by turning this on. Not that we have much to transmit. We have 23 and I need 39 to increase my weight management or my, my uh, max weight. So we're no longer so easily over encumbered. We want that. Empty cookbook and electronics. That's good. Some more tape. All right, we can open that. All right, let's see. Bandages and alcohol will make... That's a Molotov, right? Or is it... No, that should make a, uh, a med kit. I don't want to do that right now. Just because it's going to increase the weight. This and scrap, we need batteries. So we're going to do that. We can make a bottle suppressor. Let's do that for the handgun. And make another one. I'm going to make another one, see if I can put it on the Mac 10 as well. Okay, alcohol and rag to make a Molotov cocktail. All right, let's see, put that there. Yeah, we could put it on the Mac 10 as well. Sweet. With that said, wait, hold on. Take the plants because they're free, guys. Take them because they're free. Hmm. They were showing up. Uh, I guess it still is showing up, but I can't do anything with it. Maybe it's because I'm on this side of it. I can't do anything with it. If I was on the outside, maybe I'd be able to do something. But it's just a safe house. We're not going to find anything outside of there anyway. I probably should have taken this moment to repair the engine, but oh well. Off to the military outposts. This is where we're going to be getting a little bit uh, trigger happy. It's going to be armored zombies and whatnot, but we might find some ammo and stuff, which is important. Maybe a better uh, rifle of some kind. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Those are for you. Sketchpad. A note. Now, we got these zombies out here writing letters and drawing in color books and stuff. Cute. Real cute. All right, here's this. This handgun seems to do some big damage. We only have one battery, so we can claim this. Um, but we're likely going to need batteries in there of some kind, too. So that's a problem. You guys realize there's a door right there, right? 
Yeah, yeah, there's a door. RPG? Oh my god. There's no rockets here, man. Like, that's the second time they've given me some type of explosive weapon, but with no ammo to it. You can't do that to me. Let's do this. Might have regrets. Alright, this requires a battery. That requires a battery. Let's open this one. UMP and 45 cal rounds. Okay. Take both. Do this. These, these both. Uh, 45 tacticals, 45. This is 45. So we'll put this in place of that. Attachments. Can that go on that? It sure can. It sure can, dude. That's already on there. Okay. Oh, we got we, we have to reload it, you know? That's how that's how guns work. My guy's all armored and stuff back there. <laughs> nice. Well, we found the UMP I wanted earlier. So that's good. That's pretty dope. Uh, we're at capacity for that. So we'll just take this, stab it into my leg, yoink that out of the wall. Oh, there's gas over here. We need to return to the car with this thing on my back first. He's armored. Just come here. There you go. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Feels good to just unload full auto on some of these guys after not being able to for so long. Explosives. I wonder if explosives go with the RPG. And that wouldn't really make sense to me. You would think there would be, like, your grenades and, you know, actual, like, rocket-propelled grenades. But I don't really know for sure. You know? Red dot site, even. Nice. A note? These zombies are out here writing love le letters to each other at this point. That's pretty cool. Uh, this also increases damage by 10% and reduces spread. That's pretty big. This UMP is pimped out already. Some more 9 mil. We take those. I'm starting to think the explosives are for the RPGs and stuff, though. I really am. Now, let's, uh, let's talk about our situation here. I don't have the, anything that'll fit that right now. It only weighs one, though. Rifle scope can go on there. Um, we're just very over-encumbered. This can go away. We don't need the 45 tack anymore. All of these melee weapons can go away, too. I'm down for using the hands. The trusty old hands alongside these weapons. Damn, this... Look at my character. I wish I could zoom in. He looks badass right now. Feels okay. You have anything in your pockets? Fill her up. Okay, now we're going to go up this way. 
Is there, an, there, there must be another antiviral here. Oh, this guy. We could sell stuff to this guy. I just uh, disposed of a whole bunch of stuff. That's unfortunate. All right, let's see. If I had known he was here, I'd sell the quick mag. Hmm. Ah, oh, dude, I just got rid of so much stuff. Ah, I feel stupid. He doesn't have the ammo I'm looking for, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy the M16. But we do have enough knowledge to get the extra weight in our backpack now. So there's that. Let's check up here, see if there's anything loot-wise we can grab before we take off. Not looking like it. Well, maybe. We'll take water. Can't be mad about water. I guess what we can do is take all the items that I don't plan on taking and just haul them over there and sell them to him. Chem light and a battery. We use the battery on this uh, little supply crate right here, too. What are you doing? Seventy five on that. Yeah, I'm just going to take all of this stuff that I can and just sell everything. Though I wonder. No, it still says I have no ammo for the RPG. Maybe we can craft them with explosives, though. Not worried about it right now, but future endeavors. All right, let's see. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. You can have all of these. I uh, won't sell that last one. Oh, he has no more knowledge, I say. He has a capacity. Ah, see, they knew I was gonna do some stuff like this, guys. They knew. They knew I'd be the guy that would be over here trying to just sell random, random nonsense to this guy. And so they, they put a cap on it. I don't blame them. Smart move. They countered my uh, potential cheese. Okay, and we are off. We definitely have what we need to uh, get the backpack thing. Just a matter of finding a point to call it in. Let's go to the neighborhood. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. <laughs> like, honey, I'm home. Just get hit by a car, I guess. There we go. More supplies here. If we find a battery or craft a battery, that'll be good to call in. Muzzle break. Not sure what the muzzle break does, but it goes on a rifle that we don't currently have. Well, maybe it'll go on the uh, the rifle I do have. Let's take a peek. 
It will. Nice. Increase fire rate, m negative spread. Nice. This UMP is uh, really, really great right now. Okay, we have uh, we have what it takes to make a battery. I just don't know if there's a build thing here. This is just going to be gas. This is a pretty small area. Nine mil rounds, we take those. Though I'd rather 45 right now. All right, the antiviral is worn off. All right. Let's see that. Let's get on out of here to the next area. Not much of value here for us. Nothing there to help us actually craft, so... All right, I shouldn't have to open this door again, right? We should just be able to drive right on through. I would think. Hmm. a big guy here. I think we might be able to just get in the car and go, though. There's gas right here. I mean, why not? I keep getting a ton of 9mm, man. I need 45, game. All right, let's take a peek at our ammo counts here. We've got a ton of 9 mil, so I'm going to switch this out for this. If we don't find more 762 soon, I might just drop the hunting rifle for the sake of inventory. Oh, you know what? Let's Give the car a little tune-up real quick. That should do it. Okay, so it costs three to just drive right on through. So it looks like we still have to drive through the entire area but we can kind of, it'll get easier and easier to speed run it when we have better beginning loot. The big thing is just finding, we, we have to hop out, get gas, and then keep the car going. Uh, the thing I'm concerned about overall when it comes to that is just ammo for our weapons. Oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is a, a good time, mister. I'm over here trying to drink some delicious water. We got this guy just running at me. Don't mind me just uh, eating a bunch of plants that I found. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, wow. I am very smart. I forgot to load.
<laughs> oh. Alright, 99% flinch chance. Creatures that are bleeding nearby draw your attention. Deal additional damage versus bleeding enemies. And then stench. I guess we're just going to go with the flinch thing here. Oh, you know, I th at first I thought my spray didn't kill any of them, but it actually did. That's good. Oh, man. This guy. Why is he so hard to hit, though? So these guys are a little problematic. Uh, it looks like there's a bit of a height thing here. And when these guys specifically are crawling around, you can't hit them. The only time you can actually hit them is if they stop and are about to jump. Uh, I understand how it works enough to be, you know, to be able to fight them, but I still do not like how that works. That is something that I think really should be taken care of, uh, that that should be fixed. Uh, height should not be an issue when it comes to fighting guys like this that are so mobile and can jump at you from such a far range. You should be able to just kind of shoot them. I don't know if that's intended or not, but I don't like how that works. I, just, I, don't, I don't think that's a good point of balance for how, how much they can lunge. If it's only them by themselves, it's one thing. But when there's a whole horde of zombies coming at you, it's a completely different thing. At that point, it's just unfair. Okay, scrap and stuff. We can make a battery. Might be able to make two batteries. Yep. Make knuckle dusters. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Let's make some bandages. And we'll leave it at that. Well, let's see what else we have. Nothing. We have nothing. Anyway, some more question marks up this way. This area seems a lot larger, doesn't it? gas getting low on ammo on both ends here I see the big guy right there that's a problem we can call it in a sledge alright transmit knowledge here we go right there we need 65 for the next one I want you to locate hidden survivor drops and then use upgrade radios without using batteries. Interesting. Let's get that. New backpack will allow you to carry more items. Radio will emit noise, noise based on how close you are to other radio equipment like it. Previous volunteers had radios and may have been carrying some useful gear. Sweet. There is that crate right there. I have a battery for it. The issue is there's that big guy standing right next to it. I honestly think we send on it though. We're just going to make future trips a lot easier if we do. I guess the game is going to make me take that in order to actually fill up this gas tank. There we go. Alright, let's pop this antiviral in hopes that we can find some more soon. We we'll only have about half of our actual health left. You know what we can do here? 
put that there. Put that there. What? <laughs> it did nothing. Oh, awesome. I mean, at least we got him. And then there's this guy. Ah, oh, dude, this guy, this guy's the worst. All right, I got him. That guy's the absolute worst. So these grenades, uh, they seem about useless. That kind of makes me sad. All it did was just attract more to the area. Bandages and painkillers. Oh, uh, let's go with the 100 here. That's worth it. We're just getting so many supplies. Wait for this guy to come closer. There we go. Just want these guys off my back. All right, the sledgehammer. <laughs> nice. All right, taking a long way around these guys just to avoid too much more confrontation. Then we have a crafting bench and some gas here. Extended mag for a pistol. It works on both of these. Nice. And what does the extended mag do? Capacity 100%. Okay. Right, that's knuckle dusters. Melee parts. Okay. Just curious. I can carry 50 now. That's pretty good. I think that's it, though. We're just going to get on out of here. I can't remember if the car is full or not. What I do know, though, is we are dangerously low on ammo. Let's trade that out for the MAC-10 there. We got 12 rounds on this. I'm going to have to play a little more carefully in the next area. Unless we just find a whole bunch of ammo ready to rock. Okay, here we go. I think they all heard me down there or something. They're all leaving.
All right, we got rural neighborhood and supply cache. Let's get the supply cache. Wait, hold on. Yeah, let's just do it. This has been kind of like a, a sacrificial type run, but it's turned out to be pretty solid so far. I'm using this, this specific survivor just to try to get as much supply and stuff like that as we can. Okay, what do we have? It's Trinity. What have you got? Looks like a military base. Probably Herc. Okay, we got this a little bit earlier, too. Goodbye. This is where we discovered these guys for the first time, actually. I think. Okay, we have antiviral and then something else. Three handguns, but no ammo. <laughs> okay, game. Thank you. Don't give me what I actually need. Thanks. There you go, dude. Ooh. All right, that big guy is kind of alerted. We have to walk right by him, don't we? This is tragic. This game hates me. These are the type of enemies that you want to have explosives for. Oh my God, there's 45 tacks everywhere. Everywhere. We have to use this generator as well to open up this door. So th these, all of these guys are going to be alerted. I have to clear them out. Aiming laser. Antiviral wore off. What does it do for us? Extra damage. Lowers the spread. Our UMP is fully kitted out. Fully kitted out. Look at this. Amazing. Also a horde of zombies in there. Another 45 tack. This is the, the place with all the, uh, all the guns, but none of the ammo. Pretty good. Oh, this is open over here. We got ourselves a bit of a boomer in here. We can squeeze right in. Access the command building. Red door. That guy's armor on. Okay, we're on the other side of this, so we didn't have to strong arm it. Those guys are all trapped in there. You guys remember the last time I was here, we killed ourselves with a grenade. Please, somebody give me ammo. 762, that'll work. Something to work with here.
All right, that water is going in my belly. Interesting, I didn't realize that drinking the water put a plastic bottle in your inventory. That's cool. Just realized. Trip wire right here. weird you like you're forced into making a choice to whether to attempt to dodge them and it's likely going to be unsuccessful or just shoot them and take the damage and right now it's just like i'm forced to just take the damage because otherwise they're, i just can't really escape them i don't know about these enemies specifically i just don't like how uh how they're balanced I'd feel very different about it if I could actually hit them outside of the moment they're about to lunge. If that were the case, I would have no complaints. I'm down for a challenge, but when it's appropriately balanced, when it's not something that it just you can't actually hit your target type deal, you know? Okay, so we have to get in there. How do we open this? Is this the door? No. see an opening there we have this generator here this is going to attract attention when we use it my issue is how do i get in there maybe by opening my by doing this uh, maybe part of that gate over there opens up or something i don't know let's just send it we roll the dice So far, so quiet. That's green now. That's red. That's lit up. Maybe we can open this door now. We need a card? Where do we even get that? I have no damn idea. thought is that maybe there's a card in there somewhere but i think it's more along the lines of knowledge maybe i only say that because we had that bit of knowledge that we got earlier right here with the hurt codes so let's look through all of this these are recipes Grounding. Maybe not. So maybe we do have to find a physical card somewhere. It's not actually hitting, is it? Nor is that. I'm not just wasting my ammo here.
These are hitting. I'm hitting them now. <laughs> this guy's armored. Let's see. We have four rounds on the Mac 10, so that's kind of uh, a shame. I really need ammo. Please, some of you guys have ammo. Nine millimeter, excellent. This, ah, oh, the her key card, excellent news. Oh, that's so good. Nine millimeter. Nine millimeter, heck yeah. Scrap, we'll take it. Acceptable. Unacceptable chem light. Rag will take it. It's fine. Nine millimeter. Awesome. Scrap. We take those. I need a battery. Don't have a battery, but it's fine because we end up getting uh, some ammo. There's a scope for a rifle. We can't do much with that. We have some ammo again, guys. And we got this key card. So that's excellent news. Now we just got to hope that inside that building is so much ammo that we can just go home happy. Or not go home, but go further into the, uh, the zombie abyss. Man, they really don't want you to get in here. This is wild. There's so many layers of entry. Or barriers of entry. I swear to God, if there's nothing in here, I'm going to be very upset. Action to carry out termination of remaining quarantine subjects here and after referred to as Operation Aftermath. Purpose, removal of compromised subjects and final extraction of Homeland Environmental Risk Control agents and operatives from the dead zone. Authority, extension of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, Title 17, United States Code, Section 766376, and United, New United States Central Command... General order go 17B dated 13th of August 2014. I tried to do it in one breath. It didn't work out. Radio tower repair disruption to long range communication communication systems. Purpose notice to all operating forces. Re region of disruption of communication systems due to storms in grid J7. Restoration of systems underway. Authority extension of the uniform. Blah, 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 blah. Same thing as last time. Okay, there's really no loot in here. We're just getting notes. What the hell? Okay, well, at least we found the information. Uh, order, movement of supply, order 066 to warehouse Delta, a grid B944 is to occur immediately following this order. Distributors and related equipment is to be returned to Checkpoint Bradley. Troop movement, all stationed troops at FOB Vanguard will then report to the secondary extraction point as outlined in previous orders. References as per previous order, in order to complete objectives, troops are free to engage compromised subjects. Okay, Trinity, do you copy? You made it. Yeah, barely. Okay, so what'd you find? Mention a warehouse. Okay, that sounds promising. If they were setting up military camps, there would have been a supply chain. And that warehouse could be the one. It's a logistics order. We need to find out what they were moving. Any amount of water, any amount of supply we can get is good at this point. Look into it. Let me ask you something else. Was there anything else? Mention of a radio tower. Uh, okay. Sorry to jump in line here, Trinity. You said there's a radio tower? Yeah, not far from here. Trinity, this is our chance. If we can get access to that tower, there's no time to be chasing signals. We need supplies. If, there's if they're using a tower as a relay, there's a larger base out there somewhere. If we find the source, we'll discuss this later. Let me ask you something else. Was there anything else? Order uh, to kill. Yeah, we've seen those before. Seems like they gave up on testing and trying to figure out who was sick. Was there anything else? 
that's it. Okay, find that warehouse. We'll keep track of your location. Good luck, out. Okay, so we we got into this building, and all it had for us was notes. Granted, it was a task that we had to complete, right? I get it. But man, does that blow from a perspective of, holy crap, are my resources in pain right now? My resources, guys. They're hurting. They gave me nothing there. Oh good, you're armored. Just what I needed in my life. If this guy sees me, I'm screwed. I don't have the ammo to deal with him. I don't have a battery to open up that either. Wait, did I get a battery? No, I did not. So I don't have an antiviral. Okay, so I walked through here earlier. Why can't I get through here now? There we go. That was weird. All right, let's repair the car and then we're leaving. We completed a very major task. And now we can carry on with our lives. Mountains is 25% done. We got through that area, so I don't think we'll have to actually work our way into that building again, which is nice. Just ran over a whole bunch of zombies again. But okay, guys, this is a great spot to leave off. It's going on uh, 2 a.m. here right now, so I'm going to go ahead and call tonight. Get on out of here. When I come back, we'll work our way through this area here, okay? And hopefully we can find supplies. There's a whole bunch of military types here still, so it's going to be a little bit of uh, a task. But I think we can do it. We've got a ton of supplies waiting for us to spend as well. So we're def definitely going to be able to make some upgrades, uh, you know, with our next survivor here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, leave a like and a comment on the video for me. I would really appreciate the support. It helps YouTube put the videos in front of more eyeballs so more people discover what we do here. Uh, we're closing in on 3,000 subscribers, so that's pretty great. I appreciate all the support, guys. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys soon for more.